chain itself is it's not a goal that you need to achieve towards if we believe that you're already in seaside and we blood you in you're in seaside for the fullest of what it is the same as the rank itself is we don't want to gatekeep a chain because you haven't earned it per se yet if you've earned it, being inside seaside you've earned a chain to us so we don't use chains as a progression either it's again once you're in seaside that's it you're done that's it yeah we, we don't want people that uh, think that there is somewhere else uh, that they can go after that but it's more about internal improvement improving seaside if we have a hang around working with that person if there's any internal conflicts that we point out working to fix that bettering yourself if you want to learn more about hacking if you want to start going more getting trained up by our fucking shooters that kind of shit there's all different things you can do that betters yourself as a person not your status inside of a gang yeah yeah exactly i that's what i mean by you can always keep working on progressing things without it being like a status thing like I, I guess an example for me is like i'm i'm not shy with this one as well i um i like drugs i used to cook a lot of meth and supply our local when i was in bbmc that was my job right so like my progression was me getting to 75 on my tables and being able to maintain that steady supply. Like I was a big fucking cook. Round the clock, like hour by hour, I'd be like, all right, it's time to cook. I don't that know was what I enjoyed. About cooking, I mean, that's fine. I'm just telling you like what I was doing. Yeah, like I totally didn't do back to back lab cooks. 22, uh, 22 times in a... 24 hour period oh my gosh uh, what the fuck I, I, you, listen you're in the car with one of the uh, the biggest uh, well the person has probably cooked the most meth in the city but no one ever actually yeah, well, knew I that because I knew how to keep myself joke. under wraps <laughs> yep. that's fucking wild But yeah, like that was my progression. That's what I what I was doing. Because Why'd I, you stop I, cooking meth? Um, because I left BBMC. And I didn't like what am I what am I cooking meth for, you know? Okay. Okay. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna drop you off because I need to talk to Benji okay. before we go off and fucking be pirates again. Fuck out of my car. I'm out. Go on get 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 bye. Bye. Oh, that was clean. That was clean. I swear, if I go to Hayes and he's already left. Surely his active cooks. Not when you add how much. Um, how much Reggie's cooked over the past. Not a chance. The fact that it used to be hourly cooked. Made a huge difference. And you get three to four bags for that. Versus the one that you get on a table every hour. No, it's only hourly per table, right? Unless you have multiple labs, then sure. You're going back to back to back to back to back. You guys that were here ages ago will remember how often Reggie did it back to back to back to back. Why'd you fucking answer? Made hey, me run. What's up, bro? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, bro? You made me fucking run. All right, I'm going to talk to Reggie for a little bit, all right? And I'm, uh... Yeah. 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 Go, Reggie. Oh. What was that fucking weirdness for? 
Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. What's up, bro? I was, what's going on? What the fuck? Why are you being a fucking weirdo? <laughs> How the fuck am I being a weirdo, bro? What the fuck? We're all good, bro. We're all good, homie. What's up, bro? Probably Susie or Flippy. You're being a fucking weirdo. What you mean, bro? Don't worry mean. about this. Don't worry about this. Right, right, right. Anyway, um, so yes, we had a talk the other day with a group of them. We're gonna call a council meeting. What are, you, what are you doing with that notepad? What are you doing with that notepad? Nothing, 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 nothing. Just, just... Show me the notepad. Benjamin? No, 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 Benjamin? No, 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 Benjamin? No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, listen, listen. What's, what's on this? All right. What's this? Okay. Give it back to me. I'll read it out. I'll fucking read it out. Fuck. There you go. All right. Let me just park here real quick. God fucking damn it. I'm gonna eat it! Benjamin, <laughs> you're going to an extreme. I, I mean, if you want to eat the paper, go for it. I'm going to enjoy that more than whatever's on it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, just eat it. Eat okay, the Quick, I'm going to take it out of your I'm mouth. Not, I'll take it out of your mouth. Quick, eat it all. <laughs> okay. Okay, fuck it. That's not worth it. Okay. Oh, I was hoping you are going to eat the fucking page of paper. I was going to laugh at that shit. Worth it more than what was on it. Hey, right, listen, listen. All right. Okay. I talked to Dom. She says she thinks Ellie's sleeping her way through Seaside. Legit? Bro, that's what she said, man. It was like, I was like, what do you think of Ellie? And then I, she said something like she's sleeping her way through Seaside or some shit, bro. I don't think it's like some kind of like, a, not like a bad thing, but I think, you know, you know, like, that's the vibe, bro. That's the vibe. I mean, her and Harvey was so fucking long ago. Yeah, I know, bro. I know. I think she's just wary, bro. She's just wary about everybody that's trying to get in here right now, you know? Mm. See, I, I, I like and, Dom uh, because we don't, like, Dom doesn't feel the need to be a part of Seaside. She's happy where she is. Or is she just five heading it? No, because she, she's, she's just said that she's happy where she is. Or maybe she's concerned about the actual Prima Nacta. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. Fuck off with that. Jesus Christ. Benji, cut it out. I think Dom is very happy where she is. Do? Well, I don't think we really... Well, actually, okay. no, we do need to do something because a lot of them were saying yes to, to fucking Kylie, right? Which is Terry's girlfriend. And I'm I... not aware that there was a vote. Well, there, there's, there wasn't really a vote, but Draco called them together to talk. See, see this is the shit I was talking to you about last time. Because instead of just bringing it up, what? it's it's fucking bring it up with everyone in an actual full meeting, but whatever. These side meetings. Um, but Michael and I were called afterwards because no one told them that Michael and I were around. So Michael and I came and then they spoke to us about it. So I don't technically agree with bringing in people's girlfriends. Because it's just asking for more drama. Does it mean that we could lose some possible good people for Seaside because we're labeling them as a girlfriend? Yeah, it does. Would we be looking at them if they weren't someone's girlfriend? Probably not. But then that's its own issue, right? Like, we, we didn't really know fuck more about fucking Ellie until she was hanging around Fredo more. And then started being around us again. Why is this all coming about? Is it because Mona wants like a playmate? I, I think shit? I think so. Yes, which is what I said to you earlier. Is I think. Are you fucking serious? Mona, Mona wants another girl. Yeah. Bro, let's just get all the girlfriends in then. Oh please! The, literally, if you're gonna do that, just make them fucking old ladies or some shit. Fuck it. Once you've been dating for at least three months, you can apply to be an old lady. Done, dusted. You're not actually fully a part of it. You don't have a vote. Fuck you. Huh? What do you think about that? Because then we can just fuck them off if we need to. Or if we fuck off the boyfriend or the partner, then they go along with them. Fucking see you later. Catch you, cunt. 
I think that actually, I, I think that'd work better than bringing him in into the actual fucking seaside. I don't know. I, I just think that bringing really, in people's really girlfriends do, is, can be a very bad idea and it's asking for trouble. Of course it is. We're fucked. But again, on the flip side, uh, we could uh, miss out on potential good people because they are someone's girlfriend. I'm, l I'm looking at both sides of the table, right? Ah, this is so triggering. Yeah. There's no answer to this, bro. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. I'll make a different gang that will be the head of Seaside. And then Seaside can be its own thing. Then you, they can invite whoever the fuck they want. Well, uh, so you, what, you want to turn Seaside into a street gang? And Seaside, Seaside becomes a street gang. It's actually a genius idea. Ten heads. Well, what what about all of our, our music? And what? What about all our what? Our music. Our music. We can get new songs made. Okay. Um. That, that... Okay. Okay. In all seriousness, Reggie, I think this is something where we gotta be. This is a full council meeting. This is full council meeting stuff, then full seaside meeting. This is not yeah. something we come up with a solution one by one. Everybody needs to be really, like, very on uh, on board and understand what the fuck is happening and what the trends will be. Okay. Now, yeah, there, there's, there's, this there's is not another, like something we can come up with. There's another reason why we're calling a council meeting. Um, uh -huh. So, uh, you remember the idea that I floated about having a, a business side to seaside? Civ side? Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, Civ side is looking like the boys want it to return. The boys I'm talking about, uh, it was myself, um, Michael, Nick, and Draco. Okay, now, now, fine. now, my yeah. my original idea, which Nick's going to talk to you all about it, but I just want to let you know so you're already ready for it. My original idea was to make business side so they didn't actually have any voting power, didn't really know too much about the internals of the gang shit, right? Because they can't understand properly about hey yo what do you think we need to go to fucking war about this let's let's see if we everyone's happy to do it and then they turn around and don't want to go to war because of business shit why should they be voting on that in my opinion and i remember the issues that we had because uh, i was also part of the clean side when we were fucking um, what the fuck are you that. talking about i don't understand what voting are you talking about so if like there's the all of seaside yes so oh, so the boys like want to the boys, like the boys might expect some shit. So the boys want to bring in, and again by the boys I mean council want to bring in um, the the civ side per se as uh, the ability to be hangarounds and full members. However, it's understood that they are a clean person. And they handle business stuff, so they're still the same once they get to full member as the side as the normal seaside full members. They get let in on all the same shit. They're all treated the same. However, it's just an understanding inside the gang that this person is clean. Okay, why, why do we need to do something different then? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Isn't that just like you? Well, no, because I still do. I do still do shady shit anyway, right? I know, but like this minus minus the shady shit. Isn't that just you? Yeah, somewhat. Um, so I don't. If if this is the thing, okay. The more labels that we put, the harder it gets. That's why we started. Well, it's Seaside, it's right? not a it's not labeling. a label, right? It's not a label. I'm just making it so I say Civ side, so you understand what I mean by that side versus the gang side, right? I'm just no, separating I know, I know, it for I know. You. but it doesn't it it doesn't matter. Anybody clean that we want to recruit, bro, fuck them. Make can go through the same goddamn process, except less murder. Right now, this would also include ex cops like Hardcastle. Huh? Yes, this is what we're Fuck talking about. You. So, um, how are we taking Hardcastle? Are you fucking joking? Nick, Nick really strongly wants him. However, Hardcastle also comes with the tag that Bunny needs to join as well. Fuck off! What so, the fuck do you guys think this is, bro? So it's another girlfriend issue. 
Guys, okay, okay. People are fucking with me right now, bro. I ain't. I, 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 I'm not game for this shit. I'm not going to be fucking hardballed into accepting seven girls because they're related to somebody that they want to fuck in Seaside, bro. Yeah. That's actually crazy. We'll just make old ladies what, and what, just be done with what, it. What is it? No, no. What is that? Kylie, Bailey, Kylie, Bailey, Ellie, Bunny, possibly Yuki. Yuki, go fuck, bro. That's five. Yeah. What is this? This yeah. is unfair for people to even be thinking about, bro. What the fuck? How is this even like a fucking thing? If you want to bring in five people, bro, they better not be connected to people already. Are you sleeping with them? That doesn't make sense. Well, I don't think they want to bring in five people. It was just those are the different names that were brought up. And I think Mona really does want another girl that she can hang out with. Which I don't know why they need to be inside inside for that to happen, but again, that's probably just me being me and not giving a fuck about other people. See, I need to have a big business, bro. This is why I need an AU fucking Cerberus. Oh God. That I, I, I have a question. About to hire everybody's lineage. I I, I, so, I have a question. So. What if we get Dom starting to work on a business for Seaside? Like a big one, like what we've been talking about. It wouldn't work. Why? Because Dom's a bitch. Okay, she's not. She's actually quite no, good no, at being she a is. PA. She just, she just admitted that she was a bitch. Through and well, through. I'm, I, and I'm talking about business chew. shit. No, you don't, you don't get me. She would chew through every single person. I'm not saying... She, it's, uh, it's the kind of bitch that we want. Hmm. I'm just saying the girls that join the company will not like her because she will fuck them up to make sure that we don't get fucked up. You get me? No, yeah, well, what's wrong with that then? Who cares? I'm just saying like, there's no point when I know that these girls can not fucking handle it. Why, why are you talking for about, sure. why are you talking about these girls? I have nothing to do with it. The only pe two people that I would look at doing oh, that for you, would be Dom and you. Right now. I don't give a fuck what about them. Make, make a fucking old lady thing and we can just fucking cut them out when we want. Fuck them. We can't make an I old lady I fucking hate this whole girlfriend matter. shit. What the fuck? What the fuck are we going to call them? She side? Yeah, she sides. Wait, what if what if one of the, one of them want to bring in their boyfriends and and then, uh. That's what I'm fucking saying, bro. Side side. Side piece side. Spouse side? Yeah. Spouse side? Yeah, partner side. I don't fucking know. Ah. <sighs> Okay, I don't know what the fuck is going on with this Hardcastle shit. I don't know why there has to be a fucking project package with Bunny as well. What the fuck, bro? Well, Nick, Nick seems to me, bro. Nick seems to really want it. Um, and then if Nick the wants last it, time he said he wanted this. Uh, when we spoke the other day, two days ago. Okay. Um. Okay. So he wants it. That means that if he wants it, and he actually strongly says that yes, I trust him, I want to do it. Michael's going to be on on that side too. So, I, I I like the idea of having, a, 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 and again, this isn't its name or anything, but a Civ side. I don't like the idea too much of them knowing everything. And uh, why I feel does like we'll have sound issues. Like so much work, bro. Well, we need to we need to look at expanding Seaside. You know this. We've been talking about business shit for a long time. You know this. We need to we do need to evolve towards that. I think these people would be beneficial in doing businesses and that kind of shit. Come for a walk with me. I think that we, I hate to say it, Reggie, that I am such a successful leader that we have to take it to the next level. Okay. What's the next level? We have become a cartel. We have become a mafia without even fucking realizing it. Hi. Oh, damn it. I knew this was going to happen through my insane leadership skills oh, and your okay. leadership skills. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. 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 I thought this would come six <laughs> months from now, but it is very easily here now. It's what we need to do. Okay. This is what we need to do. How do you walk like That's so I can me. stop starting stopping? Uh, gangster five, the fifth generation gangster.
Wait, so how am I so much faster than you? This is not it. Uh, walk, walk as a third generation gangster. No, walk as a businessman. I think, Reginald, that we must recruit everyone like a stack of Jenga blocks and wait for it to fall down again. Oh my God. And just like how we founded a gang on this beach, we will find a new one. Okay. <laughs> so you want to set Seaside I, up to fail so we can do something different? I mean, like, if people are delusional enough to think that we can accept random people and they're putting up different names and they're going on loca, loca, loco and loca, then we're fucked. Okay. Then you want to have an ex-cop thank you for the firebomb. Civ side and have conditions where they're bringing their girlfriend too. And then now Nick and Mick are going on their bullshit fucking... You know what happens when these two go in emotion, right? What? That's, that, that's another thing you got to worry about, bro. These two brothers, when they're not fighting, it's actually worse than when they're fighting. Okay? That, that's, that's the thing. They're mm. going to be like, Michael and his bitch ass going to be like, ah, I only want to have civilians and nobody illegal in my business. And then five months down the line, it's going to be the most illegal thing in the goddamn city. Yeah. You know, it, it, that's that's fine. I think we just need to look at each other right now, look at ourselves, look in the mirror, and make sure that we make the right calls here. I now this is the this is the one moment today I'm gonna go full serious, okay? I think people wanting to join Seaside, that's not a problem. And I think that it's okay to have more women, more diversity and whatnot in the in the gang. I think that's healthy. And I think it's not wrong of Mona to want to have like somebody, you know, uh, you know, another girl and whatnot. That's fine too. It doesn't matter if they're girlfriends with somebody or, or not. But we just need to make sure that the people that are involved in that relationship understand that if shit hits the fan and they cannot agree to disagree or uh, let bygones be bygones, mm. they're done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. I'm not, I'm not going through a whole phase of drama. Where seaside is split and they're fighting among amongst each other and whatnot, we will just basically eliminate the problem. The problem here is to stop here. Fredo is a very emotional man. Yeah. Okay. And Ellie seems to be the same thing. You can see what she says. You can hear that she's got a brain on her. She's got a level head on her shoulders, but she also has. You can tell that she has some expectations. Okay. <clears throat> I just want them to honestly be able to ask. We can ask ourselves, right? <clears throat> How many times when people break up or shit goes sour, are they able to stay in the same gang and make things work? Please. Oh, that's probably like a fucking 0% success, right? That's what I mean. Yeah, and which is why I so, already wasn't happy with the fact that people wanted to bring girlfriends in. So... We have to do this the way that we've made all our different decisions. You tell tell everybody that's that's interested. We talk to. So so far the serious names are Kylie, and Ellie, right? Kylie the, and the Ellie. Ones. Yeah. Okay. We take these names. We talk about in council. Let the council vote, and then if that passes that vote, let's talk to the rest of Seaside during a big meeting. If everybody agrees and everybody can bear the responsibility and know. What the results may be, then so let the chips fall. That's fine. Okay? At least we are voting on it as a family. And it's a decision where, you know, everybody's aware of the situation. When it comes to safe side, it's the same thing, bro. Because Michael understands gang politics very well. Okay? But sometimes he gets it a little bit mixed up and he'll, uh, you know, he'll say stuff like, you know, why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? It doesn't make sense. I want to be a civilian or whatever. The, all I'm saying is when it comes to Michael, you have to be very, very blunt and very, very specific with everything that we talk about during our meetings, okay? So that things don't go fucking sideways because he's going to read into stuff and it might be the wrong read. You know what I mean? So when we when we talk about doing a business, having safe side and whatnot, 
we have to be very specific like for example a person joining us as a civilian when they're in seaside we have to make it clear that they have the same powers but also the same responsibilities if they need to go dirty mm -hmm. you know what i mean the I problem right now is that sometimes when you are clean people expect you or or they expect people to see them as a fucking like goddamn messiah right mm. just because you're clean it's nothing special it's just that you you know you just didn't find the right type of crime so they need to be ready to sacrifice how clean they are just like how some of us at some point in life just like you might have to go clean you get what i'm saying you got expunged you lived a different life you abandoned the criminal life same thing with for people like michael same thing for people like nick it goes both ways right yeah, and i shot cops the other day even though that i'm clean exactly so we need yeah. to have that balance where people know that yeah you you can be clean but you might have to sacrifice it when we need you to sacrifice it right yeah and even that we need to then have a meeting with council and then have a meeting with seaside to make sure that they understand the expectations from both halves right because the gangster part of seaside which gives it a, gives it a street cred and power there will be times where they're like bro shut the fuck up bro you're just a fucking civilian you listen to what i'm saying i'm the gangster here yes and you know that can easily happen and the clean side can easily be like hey i'm the cerebral assassin here i'm smarter than you trying to make mm. money for you so you listen to me yep. so that kind of talk which we've already reduced significantly in seaside well, we already had that back at the start and that's what i pointed out to the other boys when we we're talking about it exactly exactly so we know we know we know the dangers of all these plans right so we're just trying to make sure that everything is set up the right way yep. and as long as we vote and we inform along the way just like a fucking you know any 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 decent organization can do it's going to be hard to fault the leadership you know what i mean so we give the, the we give our people the responsibility they see what's on the line so they can't just turn around and be like oh yo benji reggie you guys are fucking dumb no motherfucker you agreed to this yes. shit too you can fuck exactly. yourself you know what i mean yep. so i think i think that's just the way we gotta handle it bro i think it'll be simple i think this will be more than just two or three meetings but hey it's a big step right so i gave nick the um task to come up with how it's going to work and bring the pitch to the council meeting which i'm gonna um i wanted to talk to you to let you know first before so you know what the council meeting is going to be somewhat about and then we're going to set it up for uh not this week but next week start of next week so probably in like a week um that way it can be pitched as a whole to the council and then like you said from there we can take it down the line and pitch it to the rest of them absolutely i think that'd be the best way man I think transparency I think with just... it's going to work quite well too like you said if it votes and then they decide to feel a certain type of way at some point about it be like well did vote for this this is what you wanted we didn't hold control and say this is what we're doing i think that is quite a smart open way to do it yeah because there's two ways right like when it comes to this the people that are already in relationships the only way that it stops is people see how it fails and they understand the consequences but hey if it doesn't fail then you know we get another draco and mona situation where there's a happy couple and uh, seaside as a whole benefits from it right yeah all right fuck it bro i don't think there's too much to worry about let's just set up the council meetings and luckily you're here with a conversation today so you know what to do then yeah uh right, thank you we're we gonna be pirates now yeah, I guess we gotta go be pirates. I'm just gonna think about some stuff as we walk through the car again. All right. How am I still faster than you? And I'm walking the my same. Hands, uh, behind my back. No, I, I think it's just because you've got short legs. Potentially. I yeah. am only about what? 5'8? Yeah. And you've got size 5 feet, so. I wish I was size 5 feet. The, ch the shoes would be so much cheaper. Right, I, it, it would be, well, it's not that it's cheaper, it's that it's easier to find than fucking 12s and 13s, right? Do you know what I, what shoe size I find very easy to find now when I buy like people's shoes and stuff? It's like seven and eight yep. like worldwide. Yeah. And then you try and look for yourself and then 
Uh, so for me, sometimes some 12s will fit me. Uh, most times they won't. And then it depends on the 13. Wait, uh, you're I've... a size 12 only? Oh, no. Mine's more depending. Like I can use some size 12s, but usually it's about like 13s. And then some shoes, it's 14s. I, I am 11.5 in length, but because my feet are wide, it's 12. Yeah, it's the wideness that fuck up mine. Oh. Mm -mm. I blame my mum. So, say for example, like Converse, it's size 14. Hey, look, I'm faster than you. When you fucking short little legs. Walk faster. Hush. Hush. Oh, yeah, I fucked with Yuki the other day. She thought you, I was going to kill her. Yuki? Why? What did she do? Uh, she said that I'm, I'm being quite toxic to her. So when she came back to Hayes, I told her to get in the car with me. Took her up to the jetty first. She didn't want to go near the edge. She was fucking petrified. She was shaking. Trying to tell me that she was cold. And, um, uh, yeah, then ended up throwing her into the fucking boat. Took her out to uh, the island I usually go out to. You took her to an island. I'm yeah. sure she was scared. Oh, she was shitting herself. Trust me. Thought she was gonna die. She even yeah. sent fucking um, uh, Smalls a message saying SOS and then 07. And Smalls didn't do shit because he was too busy robbing a bank. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what we're gonna do here. I think we're gonna be okay, Reggie. It's just I'm telling you right now, Reggie. Okay, be careful with the Michael business because he. When he thinks he's in a safe zone, Reggie, hmm. anything that his friends say, and I'm saying outside of Seaside, he's going to believe. Okay. Every time Michael goes back into his comfort zone, anybody that walks by, I'm telling you right now, if a stranger walks by him and says, hey, can I be the CTO of your company? He'll say yes if they smile. Hmm. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Well, he's been liking the stuff that I've done so far, I think. There's lots of... I tell you, do you know what happened the other day? Motherfucker takes me to the hospital for a meeting with the hospital staff and then walks out and left me there. Of course. I didn't even know what you know I was why, doing. Right? You know why, right? What? You know who you get called by, right? Larry. By Jenny. Oh, you got called by Larry. What? Whichever one of the girls, bro. Oh, well, no. Larry's not a girl, but yeah. How is how is Jenny by the way? I like Jenny. Hmm. Uh, she's been you practicing she's be her hacking skills, probably. You think she's gonna be one of the girlfriends yeah. that we have to consider for Seaside in the future. Yeah, probably. She's been practicing hacking though, so at least it's something. She's starting on her criminal career without even being a bro, criminal I yet. Li I like Jenny, bro. We do, I just give her a pass. She doesn't need to do shit, bro. I, I like Jenny as well. She's not too bad. I've never had any real run-ins with her. Man, I, I have think, threatened her before. Know, bro. When I was when I used to do the petty crime shit, bro, I used to give her a hard time, man. When I woke up like during EU and NA, bro, in the fucking cells, eh, bro, all the cops with orange hair wouldn't want to talk to me. Oh, <laughs> like, fuck you, you're a fucking bitch. <laughs> Shut uh. up. <laughs> give a fuck. Jesus Christ. All right, pirate time. All right, all right. I'm gonna drop you off here. Am I dropping you off here? I'm putting this car in the, uh, my towers. Nah, I'll just go to sleep in my tier three. Is anybody awake right now? Um, I haven't checked recently. When I was awake before, it was just myself and Chico. But I, will, I do think it's a good idea to have council vote and then just dump it all on the lap of the rest of them just so you, if it does go all south, we can just blame it on them. Easy. And then the council can swoop in and make it all good again and kick them all out. Done. Right, let me check if I miss any calls before we retire. Can you just make sure you're not too passive today, please? Sick of being the one that does everything.
don't know why I didn't get a bite out of that. What do you mean? I know I'm not passive, but you uh, seem to be affected by it, buddy. <laughs> Listen, I'm weak-minded, Reggie, but not weak-minded enough to think that I'm passive, man. <laughs> Gee, that's one thing I've never been called, man. <laughs> You know, uh, like, I'll, I'll see you in a bit. I wish that was my problem. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. Um, uh, Alright, we're going to go play some Sea of Thieves together. Brock a sloop. Mold at each other. Get ready to see me get called passive for fucking ever. <laughs> <laughs> 